Uh, let's bring out the stars of The Walking Dead. You uh, know our first guest. She appeared in season nine. Um, she's a uh, badass with a sword and she knows her way around a cave. Please welcome the magnificent magna, Nadia Hilker. Please welcome Lydia Cassidy McClinty. Mr. Dan Fogler, ladies and gentlemen. Dan. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I didn't even see. Dan Fogler, ladies and gentlemen. Dan. Dan Fogler. Hey, everybody. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, you can say that. And oh, shit. You, 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 you good? Does anyone have a tissue? I'm fine. Okay. I'm chewing gum, and my mom taught me that that's not oh, that's fine. a good look. Do you it's have one? Yeah, um, it's a great I have, look. Hold on. I have. This is not the way the interview mask. was supposed oh, to start off. Oh. Just, just stick no, no, no. That's your paper. You need no, that. I have to start. Okay. Thank you so oh, much, my dear. Oh, Thank you. Keep your seat. All right. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so glad we got that straightened out, because that would have held up the entire interview. Hey. Hi. How are you guys? <laughs> Hi. Hey, you, um, I'm going to get to you in a second, Dan, because I know you brought lovely parting gifts. Um, I did, I did. Yeah, like the last time we were together. Um, yeah. I want to ask you guys uh, this thing. First of all, how's your weekend been? <gasps> Absolutely so good. fabulous. So yes. good. We love you guys. It's been like two years since I did a convention, and I was really nervous, and then I was really happy because it's fun. And because all these people want to see you, they came here to see Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for you coming. Thank you, guys. Drove a long Thank way you. to see you. Woo! <laughs> so it's the it's the last season of The Walking Dead. So um, just to get to it. Who dies? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Except <laughs> Negan and Maggie. Of course. Learned. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you first, uh, Nadia, when you joined up in this cast, you, you and Cassidy both joined in season nine, yeah. so you, were, you jumped pretty much on a runaway train, and I remember you once saying you didn't know how, how big this was. At this point, do you know how big this is now? Do you mean the show? Yeah, and all of this, the, what the show creates. Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, you learn it fast. <laughs> but I will say I... I love the Walking Dead fans. You guys are so kind and chill and just, I don't know, you, you feel like friends. It's, it's, we are friends. I, yeah. Like We're spending and, a Sunday and, afternoon together. Yeah. No, just I'm the, very grateful for the energy of this fan base and, and yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cassie, I want to ask you, since you also joined in season nine yeah. and you just like, um, Nadia's character, your character is well known in the comic books, cool. and so you're already known to the hardcore fans, yeah. and you being okay. introduced to this, and you got to deal with it on a much quicker basis. How was it for you getting oh. into this insane universe? It's crazy! I grew up a fan of the show too, so I knew how big it was because I, I grew up in Georgia too, and it was always like the biggest thing filming. Everyone, everyone, every time I was like, "Oh, I'm on, I'm an actor," they're like, "Oh, you on Walking Dead?" That was always the question. <laughs> and then ten years later, I can finally say, "Yes, in fact, I am on that show." Um, but it's crazy, yeah. I, even when I, I've traveled outside of the country, it's mm -hmm. I just know it has such a huge impact all over the world, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I'm like, is this real life? <laughs> What's crazy for me is like seeing your character on the show, and if you've ever met her in person, if there has ever been a, a, a definition of a 180 or a Jekyll and Hyde, because I think this is the first time I've ever seen you smile, ever, really? because on the show, yeah. there is nothing like what you're seeing right here. <laughs> That's it's, true, it, yeah. You know, it is a, an un, it's un balance. pleasure. It's balance. You gotta balance it out. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta, like a scale. Uh, Mr. Fogler. Thank you for joining us. You have a unique perspective because not only are you walking into a show that already has a built-in audience, but you've already done that because you've been part, uh, you're also part of a universe that has a built-in audience, the Harry Potter universe. And you're also part, and I'm from Philly, so you're a unique part of the Goldbergs uh, universe, playing the young uh, Marvin Goldberg. Uh, so this is an old hat for you. You keep seem to jumping on to shows that already have a built-in audience, and you fit right in because you're such a lovable man. Thanks, man. Woo! I um, and you're fitting right in with your yeah. your guts laden uh, outfit. Round of applause for that suit. Oh, 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 oh. 
Thank you, folks. I'm nothing without the suit. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> Don't deflect. Um, you, you, how have you managed to sit right in this? And I've got such a, a great feeling for you because you are Dan Fogler. So when The Walking Dead eventually does end, you'll find yourself on another incredible franchise and fit right in with that too. Does the end of the show mean, does it mean something like for you being part of this ride? Oh my gosh, yes. I, um, <laughs> I was a fan of the comic book. Yeah. And um, when they asked me to, to come on the show to play Luke, I was like, oh, awesome. I'll be on, I'll be on for one season. My head will end up on a pike, because that's what happens in the comic book. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll come in for a season. I'll come out. Mm -hmm. um, but then I got there, and I got to, like, ride horses and, and, <laughs> and smash zombies and, and hang out with all these awesome people. And I was like, I kind of want to stay. <laughs> and um, so they, ex you know, they extended my stay for several, a couple seasons now. So um, that was lovely. And um, yeah, I love, uh, I love being part of the show. We love having you as being part of the oh, show. Oh, thanks. We man. love when, I, Anytime I see you pop up on my screen or on the big screen, I'm happy. You inspire joy. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Aww. Yes, Yay. applaud. Yes, applaud that. <laughs> right now, applaud. <laughs> Heartfelt emotion. Nope. Oh. That was a yeah. drop the mic scenario. That was a mic drop moment. <laughs> Seriously, when I gave him that applause. It was literally. A mic drop moment. <laughs> now, uh, I love to keep on talking, but it's time to play our game. Um, a game? A game? No, I, I meant we are going to take audience questions. Oh, that was I was like, I mean, I'd love to, like, No, yeah, I'd love to I'm keep on. I'm not good on, at games. I'd <laughs> love to game, but I'd love to keep, but these people are actually here for you. Yes. And Mr. Fogler, the last time we had a uh, panel together, uh, you had some lovely parting gifts for someone who asked a question. Is this, this the same thing we <laughs> yeah, have going right yeah, yeah. yeah, I have my, um, yeah, who, for uh, people who ask me questions. <laughs> I'm not going to give you. Well these. played. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to, you get a, uh, my new comic book, Moon Lake, which is out now. <gasps> Woo! Uh, or, wow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, or like a, this, this um, fancy uh, collector's card. Somewhere That's on his person, <laughs> somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, from it, Fanboys. It, it, if you're a Fanboys fan, I also have some cool um, Fantastic Beast cards. So you'll you'll get some. If you ask him a question, okay. So the yeah, people that are in line right now, if you have questions for anyone other than Dan, if you want to switch <laughs> it up to get one of these sweet gifts, <laughs> yeah. now is the time. Exactly. Uh, but we have our questions here. First one, please. Uh, hi, my name is Parker, and hi, I have a question for Dan. Well, what? So where that come we from? A prize. <laughs> so where is Luke? Where's Luke? Where are you? He, he's just seemed to vanish. Last time you saw Luke, he he was chilling with Jules, and you gotta you gotta, you know, I I suspect that he's over at Oceanside just living it up on the beach there, having a good time. Teaching music. That's right. Teaching music classes. <laughs> All right. Well, you want a gift? <laughs> uh, sure. All right, come up here. Hey, uh, this is, how, oh, how old are you? I can, I can do that because I don't want him to. How old are you? 13. That's, that's R-rated in my book, so you can't quite get it yet. But get over get, here. Get over, yeah, 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 come back. Get the card. <laughs> here, this is um, a fanboy's card. Yeah, come to the table. I'll sign it for you later. Thank you, Parker. Yes. Next up. Hi, I'm Mallory. Hi, Mallory. Um, Hi. My question is for Cassidy. Oh, hello, Mallory. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the question. <laughs> um, you and Lydia are so different because you're so sweet. And oh. like Lydia has been through like a lot of trauma mm -hmm. um, and like has carrying this darkness with her. Um, is it ever hard for you to like tap into that darkness to portray oh. her? Um. I think that's why I am the way I am here. I think because I like to balance it out. Um, it's, 
It is tiring after a while. Like I'm really, really sad. I'm, I'm sick of being super sad all the time. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's. I think the writing is so good, and she has such a good reason for her sadness that it's not really that hard. I kind of just. I'm like, all right, well, obviously she's gonna feel this way. It, she has all the reasons in the world to feel this way. Um, so yeah, and yeah, it's really sad. Her life is really sad. But hopefully this season, if you keep on watching, things will get better, possibly. But yeah, I wanna, you guys, I wanna say everything, and that's why I get nervous at these things, because I don't know, I can't talk, because I just spill things, things just spill out of my mouth, and they're, it's happening right now, so I'm gonna be quiet now. Stop talking. Thank you, Mallory. Yeah. I love you. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you. Stop talking. Cut a mic. Next up. Hi, I'm Finley. Hi, Kaylee. Finley. Finley? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, so I have two questions. I have one for Nadia and then one for Cassidy. Sorry, Dan. Um, <laughs> so the first, I mean, the first one's like a lot for not more for Nadia, but like the rest of y'all like kind of too. But so Nadia, you spent a lot of time on screen with Connie or Lauren. Um, and I was wondering, since she like is actually deaf, if you've like learned anything from her or from like being on the show. Have you learned any sign language? Uh, I learned a lot of sign language, but my brain functions like a goldfish brain. <laughs> and I know you're laughing, but it's, it's so sad because you tell me something and everyone in my close circle is actually worried because they're like, you're only 33 and you're forgetting. Like I, I will open the fridge and my phone is in there. I'm like, well, why, how did, um, so I learned, and I love sign language. It's, I think it's the most beautiful language in the world. Um, but I just know, you know, every language, when you learn a new language, you learn just words that you shouldn't know. So yes. I know how to sign fart or it's, it's sad. Um, no, you start with the basics. Yes. You start with the important stuff, exactly. right? Yeah. Um, I couldn't have a full on conversation, but I have signs I really like, I should not show you because they're just not appropriate. Okay. Um, but I, it was so interesting and so much fun and such an honor. And I'm so proud of AMC and so grateful that they, um, you know, brought that element on the show. And um, yeah, it's such a beautiful language. And then for Cassidy, um, your mom being alpha in the show is like a dark, like villain kind of person. Do you think you have such a strong connection with Negan because he also has that, like, dark side. Oh, I, ooh. <gasps> that is probably why, yeah. But I also think that she has, well, I'm not gonna say that. She wants a father, maybe, a little bit. And maybe he, uh... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Thank you for the question. It's wonderful. Thank you. You look great as Cassidy, Cassidy, from now on, you whisper your answer into my ear, and then the way I look at you, it's a yes or a no. Right? Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Use sign language. Yeah. Yes. Next. That was great. But you're probably right, yeah. Just, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to shut up now. Um, <laughs> oh, God. My name is Peyton. Hey, Peyton. Two Hi. Uh, both are directed towards Dan. It's um, Dan? Okay, go. Yeah. What do you think would be the best musical instrument for zombie killing? The best musical instrument for? Zombie killing. To kill a yeah, zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Say trombone. Like a, like a nice, a sturdy electric axe, you know, electric guitar. Because I feel like that's what they were trying to emulate uh, when I had the, that motorcycle mallet. Yeah. That was kind of like a rock and roll kind of thing. So yeah, like an electric guitar yeah. and then throw the amp on them or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then also, oh God. Was uh, that the... Yeah, my happened? other question. Yeah, was you that want the, me to hand out the stuff yeah. so you don't have to keep getting up and down? I can I, do that. No, I like it. Oh, you like I, it? Yeah, I haven't had a lot of cardio. Yeah. So um, <laughs> what's... Uh, <laughs> how old are you? Uh, 17. Cool, was that your full question? No, I have one more. Um, okay. Uh, can you tell me about your comic book? Yeah, I'll give you one here. 
Yeah, this is, ooh, we're making, a, we're making a, um, an animated series out of this with the same people that uh, animate Rick and Morty, which is really exciting. Oh, wow. Really? You let that part out. Oh, get yes. with it. And uh, come to the table and I'll sign it for you. Awesome. Oh, Dan, um, you didn't tell us. You left that part out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys will have voices on it and stuff. Yes. Cool. Um, oh, man, Rick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. It's like it's like my homage to uh, Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt, Heavy Metal, the movie stuff that I grew up on. The it's classics. Heavy Metal magazine is a publisher, so it's like dream come true. The classics, perfect. Yeah. Love it. Next. Hello. This question is for Dan. Wait. What's your name? Oh, my name is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hey. hey, Ryan. Works in the writers' room. God. <laughs> Okay. Hi. Um, yeah, my question is for Dan, as well as Cassidy and Nadia. So it's for everybody. None for me? Oh, okay. he just... Oh, I, and you you well. did a blanket once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, with the show coming to an end, um, what is something that you wanted for your character that didn't make it into the show? Oh, that's a good question. What's something you want for your character that didn't make it to the show? You have 12 seconds. Ooh. Yeah. More sex time. Woo! That's so strange. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh gosh. There's not enough in the show. <laughs> Jerry's having plenty of sex. Have you seen Jerry's family? The he's, viewers? He's, he's, he's oh, getting he's it doing in. it. <laughs> he's getting it in. Somebody's got to repopulate. Up. Living his best life. Uh, Nabila, um, <laughs> I uh, I just got a question today. Someone said that I'm really Cassidy. Me, I'm really similar to Princess. And then they asked me if I ever worked with her on the show. And so far, I'm not going to say about the future, but I haven't gotten to. Or Lydia hasn't met Princess, and I thought that would be a really cool interaction. Um, but we shall just keep watching and see. See, this is why I don't know how to answer any questions. Stop, stop talking, stop talking, stop, stop, stop talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Dan. Oh, um, yeah, I'd like, a, I'd like a scene with JD. I've only had, like, I've only, like, acted near him. Uh, and been, like, <laughs> I was, like, dragged on a, a, like, a makeshift gurney for one scene in a scene that he was in, but I, don't, I never said anything to but him. What would you think would be the, the dialogue between Luke and, and, and Negan? Like, you know what, what I think? What, under what circum... Like, this is what I... Because <laughs> he was... Wasn't he a PE teacher? Yeah. Yeah, you guys worked in the same so, school. Uh, yeah. So I, it's like I never like actually see him. Like I'm always, he's always leaving as I'm coming. You know? And uh, it's like I'm always locked out as he's in the scene. But like one day, like I look at him and be like, you're the PE guy, you know, from, from the same school, you know. And <laughs> you know? be like, I know you. We used to take cigarette breaks or something. You know? well, I don't smoke, children. Don't smoke. Don't. No. Um, don't do it. Don't smoke. But uh, yeah, so like, uh, I, I I thought that would be a fun scene to have. Just be like, we we were working at the same school. So <laughs> how did things turn out for you? You know. Like, yeah. Hey, how's your That's wife? Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Great question. Oh, yeah, one? you get a gift. You, yeah, yeah. Get, yes. yeah, I'm over 21. That was part of the... Woo! All right. Congratulations. <gasps> oh, hello there. Come to the table and... Sure, I'll sign it for you. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Thank Next. You, my name is Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew, you're precious. This one's for Dan. How do you think your character is a like you? Like... How's my character? How's he similar to you? How's my character like me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love music. I like singing. I like listening to it. Um, and uh, I don't play any instruments though, which is <laughs> how we're different. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, he's more of like a extreme hopeless romantic than I am. <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, but. Um, <laughs> He, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, but um, he, I think I would kind of react in the same way. 
you know, in the apocalypse. I would, but I would do it with like pop culture stuff, like, oh my God, a Mandalorian helmet. Oh, I gotta take this with us, you know, and like risk my life, <laughs> making sure that all of the, you know, pop dolls were okay. <laughs> um, does that answer your question? Yeah. Cool. In our little roundabout, does he get something? Yeah, he gets something. Okay. <laughs> What do you want, man? Yeah. You like, uh, oh, I'll give you one of these cool cards. This is like an authentic, fantastic beast card. Nice. Okay? Come and I'll sign it for you at the table, buddy. Awesome. Thank you for your question. Woo! Wonderful. <laughs> Next up. Um, hi, I'm Nancy. This hi, is Nancy. My first time asking a question at a con. And I Welcome! Yes. Nancy, you never forget your first time, okay? <laughs> we're going to tell everyone you were good. Go. Um, I was so nervous when I met Dan, I forgot to ask to uh, tell him how big a Broadway fan I am. And that, you know, I really uh, appreciated your work on Broadway, and I wanted, was so excited when you got fantastic. Sing your favorite song of mine. Go. No, now. I can't. It's... It's not appropriate. Um, <laughs> um, and so I was excited when I saw you in Fantastic Beasts and then in Walking Dead, which, you know, big fans of too. So I, was, I know it's a spoiler, but is there any chance Luke will be singing or anything on the show, this show? Wow. Sing, singing anytime soon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what's an interesting thing I can tell you? is that you know the song, the country song, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. that Beta sings on his album? Mm -hmm. I went to the well and the river was dry. That song? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cooper Andrews and I wrote that song. Are you kidding? Yeah, oh, I yeah. I know that. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That's great. I didn't know it was amazing. That's cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So I guess so, in a way. Well, maybe Jacob will sing and... Yeah, yeah, possibly. <laughs> okay. Um, you, you want a comic book or you want, what do you want? Uh, comic book would be All right. great. I'll give her a hug. <laughs> What'd you say? Give her a hug. A hug, oh. Yeah, yeah it's only a comic book. She's applauded your Broadway acumen. Is there a comic book? See, she loves him. Just like, press it, get, get down there. Thank you for your question. It's wonderful. She was smitten, look at that. It's amazing. You were wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. See? Nobody can say that. I appreciate you. She loves my that. suit. So, <laughs> Next. Hello, my name is Laura. Hi, Laura. This is my first uh, tour. Oh, oh! tour. Um, I just want to say the three of you are amazing, talented, and I really appreciate it. I really enjoy you guys watching uh, the show. But this question is for Dan, which I'm a big fan of you and the Gobblers, and um, I just want to say, how did you um, work out your transition from The Walking Dead to the other show, because they're completely different? How did you, you know, work out that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the Goldbergs and The Walking the Dead. The Gobblers, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I know they're so different. They are so different, so how did you manage to, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I come from, uh, so I come from Broadway, you know, mm -hmm. louder, faster, funnier, you know, kind of Pratt Falls and wild, you know, comedy. And um, that's my aesthetic. So when I go on the, the and I work with um, Adam Goldberg's on a movie called Fanboys. So we, we had a kind of shorthand there. And um, so that, you know, that's also, as much as I love doing that kind of crazy, over the top, high level, like, comedy, um, talking really fast and joke, 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 um, that's exhausting, you know? It's, it's like exhausting in its own way, where the writer is king and you gotta get all the, the bips and boops and every, you know, syllable right. Um, and uh, so it's really kind of refreshing to come onto The Walking Dead where it's like, 
you got an hour, you know, it's, yeah. we, it's more laid back, we're outside, we're out of a studio, we're in the elements, you know, it's like, it's like a Western, it's like a, and um, how do I do that? I don't know, I just, I'm a fan of, um, I'm a fan of television and film, so, and, and, and just a huge spectrum of it, so, just been watching it for a long time, mm -hmm. and I have this, like, mathematical equation in my mind going, okay, I'm on this kind of show now, and then just the chemistry just comes into place. Mind, like, how do you unwind from one show to another? Like, you're how do I unwind? It. Yeah, like, it's like, okay, you're, like you said, you were talking on the gobblers, it's like, uh, you're hitting and then you come down, and how do you unwind from both shows? Like, you like watching <laughs> a lot of TV, you I like, books. I like to bake. Really? <laughs> That's I also awesome. like uh, transcendental meditation. <laughs> oh, okay. Transcendental meditation is very helpful. Okay. <laughs> was it hot wearing the jacket on The Walking Dead? Say, the say again? The jacket. Was it hot wearing the jacket? On yeah, the that, that was an interesting choice. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, I want like a professor jacket with, with elbow pads, you know? And, um, and so it was really hot in August. <laughs> <laughs> But it was really helpful, you know, in the in the colder months. It's happy, so you know, it was uh, worked out like that. Would you like a comic book? Sure. All right. Thank you, Thank you Nancy. Yes. I will knight you. Yes. I have a question for Cassidy and Thank Dan, you. if it's okay. Oh. No, right. it's not okay. Only one question for Cassidy, and none for Dan. Okay. No, I'm yeah. kidding. Go. So. Do you think? My first question is... Wait a minute, what's your name? My name is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Yeah, do that first. Okay, okay. now. So, my first question is for Cassidy. Um, your character has had such a traumatic beginning in childhood. If this wasn't the, first of all, oh my God, the end of The Walking Dead, um, do you think she could ever find a sort of real happiness? Could she ever let go of, of her beginnings and find happiness? Okay, give me the answer in my ear. Um, <laughs> Very hush hush. This is how we get to stuff like that. So, like, the stuff that comes out, like, later on, you will say, I yes, heard it here first. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> Never, it's so dry. Yes. Like, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Oh my God. She takes direction so well. Um, Fair enough. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah, maybe. I hope so. <laughs> Much better. Second time. And did you have a question for Dan, Mary? I do have a question for Dan as well. Um, when we first met your character, I wondered how, even with help, you made it through any part of the apocalypse. You're very adorable. Um, very sweet, very adorable. Super cute. But how did you make it even with help? Like, for one minute. So... <laughs> hear that right are you it yeah because she's you're, saying you're, you're a so toddler sweet. i love he's, that he's question musical. yeah he's very you know, he's, he's very metro you he's know? not a fighter no he's a toddler he is what you're my, saying he's I would sweet pick, he's adorable he's, he's a not, four year old how did he know. make he's, it that far yeah, that is a no i was asking the same question yes <laughs> he's not it, a fighter he's he's a lover yeah he's a lover he's, as you said but he's that's the thing man Man. Okay. That's the thing. Man. Love is more powerful than any of this. Maybe, but I think somebody's sword might have... That doesn't make you, that doesn't I make can't you hear survive. You. Maybe, but somebody's <laughs> sword probably helped you along. Um, so do you think you would have a chance in the, if there was an apocalypse? I'm going to answer your first question. Okay. So, <laughs> so the first question is, how come he survived so long? Yes. Well, Love no, is... Ex how, I'll finish know. my question. Okay. <laughs> Love is extremely powerful. Okay? Mm -hmm. Woo! Music is extremely powerful. Um, no, but it is. It is. Because when the zombie, well, you guys are forgetting he had that mallet, you know? That he was swinging really hard at people's heads. It's because he's so lovable. And because he's so goddamn Everyone, lovable. He's so lovable. He gets by with a little help from his friends. By with a little help from That's my friends. It. And there's where the music comes in. Okay. That's it. 
Yes. Would I survive? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Fair you. enough. Thank you, Mary. Next Thank question. You. Thank you, Mary. Oh, you get a comic book. <laughs> You got the last one, too. Because he's so lovable and he's so cute. How could you survive? You're yes. helpless. I knight you. <laughs> you missed your knighting, Mary, but it's so okay. It's a- Next up. Hi, my name is Michaela. Hi, Michaela. My question's for Dan. So which series did you find a harder coming on to? The Walking Dead or like the Fantastic Beasts Harry Potter universe? Yeah. Okay. They're, okay, they're both, <laughs> like the grass is always greener, you know, when you, I'm doing the big fan, uh, Fantastic Beast movies, I'm like, oh my God, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is still so very romantic, and the, the big sets and the, uh, you know, everything, and the, I mean, that's like top of the line, um, you know, global franchise, thank my lucky stars, I'm even part of this thing, and then on the other side, you have this other global franchise. <laughs> Thank my lucky stars for being part of this thing. But it's the totally opposite, where we're basically in studios uh, and Fantastic Beasts on artificial sets, and, and everything's created. And that it, in itself is like so magical. Um, and then like as a movie fan, I'm just like, I always wanted to be in a zombie movie. I always wanted to be in a Western. And I, so I, I get the best of both worlds when I come over to The, the Walking Dead. Um, and then, you know, and then I, I just, just, just for me, whenever I'm working on something, I always, uh, as it gets to the end of it, I'm just always like, oh, what's the, what can I do next that's totally opposite from what I'm doing now? Um, you want like a card or something? Or like a little, uh, I have a fanboy's card or a Fantastic Beast card? <laughs> Thank you, Michaela, for the question. All right, we got time for two more because we got to wrap up. I'm so what sorry. What would you like? Okay, come to the table and I'll sign it for you. All right. Thank you, Michaela. Everyone, isn't she wonderful? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Go. Hi, I'm Clara. Hi, Clara. Hi. Oh, cute. This is a question for all of you. Me too. Okay, cool. What's your biggest mess up on camera? Your biggest mess up on camera, this right here for me, but you guys. <laughs> this interview. <laughs> yes, I lost total control of this. As soon as, she, as soon as Nadi needed the tissue, I was done. So that's when, this has been my biggest mess up on camera. And then she dropped the microphone and then Cassidy spilled all the secrets. So. Your oh, biggest gosh. mess up on camera. I will go first. Okay, so Ryan Hurst Beta, he, this was my first day working with him, the first day meeting him, and it was season nine, and I was supposed to throw this huge punch at Henry's face, but he was standing right next to me, right in the line of attack, and I was so excited to do this punch. I practiced all week for it. I literally went to like combat training for this one little punch. And it's time for me to go up and do it. And I give it all my might. But he was standing right there, and I punched him right in the belly with all everything. And he just stood there like a wall, and he just took it and didn't say anything. But I literally had a rug burn on my hand from how hard I punched him. And uh, yeah, it was the most horrifying experience ever. But he took it like a pro and a champ, and I was really impressed. But he was probably dying on the inside, but he was. <laughs> There's no, I like, I must be really weak or he's just not human. I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe both. And that's my story. Well, yeah. So no one else has messed up on camera but you, Cassidy, apparently. Just me. And then the other day, my, my Siri turned on in my pocket and that was embarrassing. And wow. I was saying something and it, it sounded like, hello, Siri. And then she was like, oh, hey, what can I do for you or something? <laughs> Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was really unprofessional. <laughs> okay. Do you have one? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got a crazy story. I mean, it's not that crazy, but whatever. I, so you know, the, you know the scene in uh, 10 where we're at the line, season 10, and, and the whispers of all the, the walkers coming up, and they're all stopped at the line, and we're all, you know, beating them at the, and, and Hilltop. is right before everything... Goes to uh, goes on fire. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I knew what she knows. Talking about. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> they have all the walkers coming at us, and it's like one of my favorite scenes. And they have all of these, um, you know, dead walkers just lying all over the place. But they they mixed in, you know, dummies and real walkers, and so they were just like, we're gonna keep rolling and just keep on swinging, you know? So I'm swinging my mallet and I'm, and I'm like, okay, here's, here's, <laughs> and it was, it was a rubber mallet, okay? So they, they didn't give me the real one. <laughs> they gave me like this, this, whatever. So I'm, I'm hitting this rubber, <laughs> this, who I think is a dummy in front of me, this, <laughs> this zombie who's just like lying there, and I'm just smacking him in the butt over and over again. Wham! Wham! <laughs> And, um, <laughs> and I'm like, and I, and, I yell, and I yell cut, and I'm just like, wow, man, uh, yeah, that was intense. And then the guy just like, hey. <laughs> and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> I was just like hitting you so hard in your butt. <laughs> and he was like, it's fine. It's what I'm here for. <laughs> but <laughs> what I get paid for. <laughs> Awesome. He was fine. He was totally fine. Yeah, he's dead. He enjoyed the whole thing. <laughs> Can you top that, Nadia? I mean, after this story, I'm not telling mine. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no it. way. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Thank yeah. you, Glenn. I appreciate it. Oh, um, yeah. You want to think? Yeah, do we have anything? Do, do you want to give her your wallet? Or... Here you go. <laughs> you want a cookie? <laughs> Here you go. Come to the table. I'll sign up for you. And oh, right. un unfortunately, by the old clock on the wall, and just like my Philly brethren, boys to men said, we've come to the end of the road, and I can't let go. Um, <laughs> but you guys are a lot of fun, all You're three fantastic. of you. fantastic. Now, I'm nothing without you, Nadia, you know that. Um, we go back a ways. Um, I did a panel with Nadia and Dan three years ago in Jersey before the world became an actual apocalypse. And uh, one of my favorite memories of Nadia was I was asking her a question about something serious in the show, and she just said, I have to go pee. And if I can't leave right now, it's going to be really bad. She ran off the stage to the bathroom. It was a lot shorter haul than this. And we continued. It was, it was me, you, Dan, and Angel Theory, who plays Kelly, were on the panel. And we carried on as if Nadia was never here. And then Nadia comes back after going to the bathroom, and she does a full split and jumps back on the stage and continues like nothing happened. So you are my favorite panelist of all time. Okay. Thank you. If my bladder is full, I just can't focus. No, geez. I just had, you got to do what you got to do. Thank you. Just but, like, but it was quick. I, it like, was quick. On that note, let's make very clear, it was a very quick... It was. I didn't time like, you, but you were gone, and as soon as, like, within, within a minute, you were right back. There we go. Did a full split, and then awesome. Get, yeah. So this is my favorite panel. You are my favorite audience. This is The Walking Dead. Nadia Woo! Hilker, Cassidy McClinty, thank you guys. and the great Dan Fogler. Thank you so Ladies much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank, thank you for you. your pandemic. Thank you. Good. Yeah. We'll see you out there, folks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Maisie Richardson Sellers and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be a legend and hit that like button and most importantly, have fun and follow your fandom.